My name is Katie Lewis, and I am the Creative Marketing and Operations Manager for Shannon Brinkley Studio, and I am so excited to introduce you today to one of our certified teachers, Janelle Schwartz. Thank you so much, Katie. I am really thrilled to be here and to be talking to you today. So Janelle is certified to teach Scrappy Applique, which is a raw edge applique technique that was designed by Shannon Brinkley. And um, she has certified Janelle and other certified teachers to teach her technique and classes. Janelle offers programs and workshops, both to guilds as well as to individuals and small groups. You can find out more about her by clicking the link below to check out her bio page. But just to help you get to know Janelle a little bit better, we've invited her to come on so that we can interview her and hear more about her as a quilter and a teacher and what she really loves about quilting and scrappy applique. So Janelle, welcome. We're so glad to have you here. It's fantastic. So Janelle, um, would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself? Where are you from? Where do you live now? I'm originally from Australia, uh, born and bred in Sydney, uh, but I've also lived in some fantastic cities. So I've lived in San Francisco, Washington, D.C., Melbourne, and now I've lived in Dubai. We came here for one year and 11 years we're still here, so we're loving it here. It's fantastic. So Janelle, you live in Dubai, but you offer programs and workshops for guilds. How does that work? Well, Zoom has opened up so many doors and opportunities uh, as everybody's taken to it all over the world. I think Dubai being in the center of the world actually means that I can do programs, workshops, and classes for anyone all anywhere. So mm -hmm. I've done them for the U.S., and sometimes I have to get up in the middle of the night uh, for those. But, you know, I, I can be flexible with my timing because it's on Zoom. I can meet with guilds at their timing that they need. And I find that really flexible. And it's really fun. It's really fun to meet people from all over the world. Where, where are some countries that you offer programs and guilds? Where are your students coming from? So I've had students from, well, we'll talk about the U.S. first. That's the main place. Uh, but also from Australia, my home country, uh, Singapore, India, Dubai, UK. So in a number of different cities, it's been a lot of fun. An amazing opportunity, something that none of us would have even imagined, you know, a few years ago. Totally. And I'm so excited. I've got another program this week with a guild in Canada. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited. That's fantastic. We wish you all the best. Thank you. So tell us a little bit more about how you got into quilting. So I really started a long time ago. I was doing applique baby blankets without realizing uh, I was doing a little bit of quilting there. So I was doing those for years, you know, as girlfriends have babies, cousins have babies, all those kind of things. And then my husband and I went on a trip to Japan and we always bring back souvenirs. And when we went on that trip, I found these adorable swatches of fabric. And I thought, oh, they're so cute. I'm going to take them home. Only to discover when I got home, they were actually something called a fat quarter. <laughs> and those fat quarters then came into a rag quilt. And that was my very first patched and quilted piece. Uh, and that was exciting. Uh, the first one got me hooked. That's fantastic. So you discovered that all of your fabric souvenirs was actually fat quarters that could be turned into yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so they went to good kind. use. This is the best kind of souvenirs, in my opinion. <laughs> they are. They are. They're not on the shelf catching dust. They're actually being used. That's fantastic. So um, you are the quilter and creator behind Dotty and Grace. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about your company? Oh, I would love to. First of all, everybody always asks me where the name came from. The name came from my grandmothers. I actually, I remember them doing crafts, knitting, sewing, all through my childhood. So when I was looking for a company name, I was struggling thinking of what to find, and they just always sprang to mind. They are true to my heart of where my passion for crafts came from. So Dottie is one grandmother. Grace was the other one. So that's how the name came about. Uh, it's based in Dubai. I provide online workshops, and also I have a small online store as well. I also provide a blog where I update uh, people on my crafting activities, which usually is quilting and different techniques that I'm trying. What is your favorite part of the creative process? I really, really love choosing color and putting it together. But particularly now that I'm into quilting, I love choosing the fabrics with the certain colors. Um, I can spend hours and hours together with fabrics and colors and just mixing and matching and seeing what works. Uh, I, I just, I get so much joy from that part of the process. 
Awesome. Do you have a favorite color palette or style that you tend to gravitate towards? Yes, I do. I really like blues uh, and bold colors in there. And with my quilting, I tend to have pops of color coming through. So I may have a dark color and then a pop of color, or I might have uh, some vibrant colors all throughout and some white next to it. So that really stands out. Um, But either way, I think I tend towards the vibrant colors in my quilting. Yeah, I really love the way that that color pops in your globe quilt that's over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's actually one of the scrappy applique patterns. It's the globe, it's from the globe series. And the reason why I say the globe series is because there's four different templates. And I chose template number four for that. And I had lots of scraps left over from the scrappy applique pieces that I've been doing. So keeping those pieces just in a little zip block, I opened them up the other day and I just put it together. And then what I did was I did a little bit of couching around the edge with some orange uh, yarn. And then I also did with the quilting, I did a little bit of word quilting in the side with some Australia uh, there with my handwriting. Uh, Feel through that through, and then the quilting I just did super fast. My walking foot going back and forward, and uh, yeah, I love how it turned out. It's fantastic. Yeah. The colors really pop. For those who may not be familiar with couching, can you quickly just tell us what that is? Sure. It's where you put a stitch from the machine, or you can do it by hand as well, over yarn and secure it to fabric. So there's many different techniques. Um, and it's used through different cultures as well. Uh, but the couching that I did on this was uh, to secure the edges around and frame the globe. Mm-hmm. It's just got a bright orange yarn around there. Nice. And I know what, we're going to drop a picture of that because Janelle's already given me a close-up photo and it's gorgeous. So we're going to have a photo of that um, down below at the bottom of this blog post. Okay, so I've got a fun question for you, Janelle. If you could be a painter, photographer, mm-hmm. or poet, which would you choose, assuming that whichever one you choose, you're going to be awesome at it? Photographer. I don't even have to think twice about that one. One, I love photography. Uh, I am an amateur, so I'm not a professional at all. I won't, I won't put that out there. I love my smartphone, taking snaps. But the thing I love about it is that it can capture a moment. Mm. It can capture somebody laughing. It can capture, you know, the, the last meal that you made, like to share with a family that you can't see to share it with. Uh, it can capture so many special moments. And one of the things that I also love doing is when I travel is capturing memories there. So capturing memories and also sharing those memories with other families and friends. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. And you guys do like to travel a lot. You've already mentioned that you you and your husband have taken a trip to Japan and that you've lived in different cities around the world. And so yeah. um, what, what are, is traveling one of your hobbies? Do you have any other hobbies that you really yes. enjoy? Well, we love traveling, yes. But of course, at the moment, that's a little bit difficult. Um, but at the same time, uh, you know, my husband is from France. I'm from Australia. So we love traveling. We love seeing new cities. We love experiencing new cultures. So I would call those my hobbies. But then also we love trying other cuisines, Um, I really love to cook and I love cooking for family and friends um, and trying new recipes. So uh, I think one of my favorite dishes, if I can just go into that, I love doing Italian uh, dishes and I make a really good risotto. Oh, (laughs) if I I do say so myself. So tell us a little bit more about what it's like to teach to uh, guilds and individuals um, scrappy applique. What is it that you really enjoy about teaching? I love that the creative process in it and that everybody has a unique piece when they finish. So there can be three people in the class that have chosen the elephant. It's a very popular pattern. Many people choose it. There can be three people and every single one is different. It's unique. They bring their own unique characteristics, their own color choices into the design. And when each person cuts out their applique piece, there is just a shriek of thrill through the room. It's like, oh my goodness, look what I've done. So I even find people that are not big fans of applique come back and they love the process. They've tried it, they've given it a shot, and they really just love when they get to that final stage of cutting it out and they look at their piece, they're so happy that they've done it. Do you have a favorite scrappy applique pattern? Oh, at the moment, I would have to say the globe. Mm -hmm. Uh, Being away from home and being an expatriate, uh, I love that I can bring a little bit of Australia 
uh, into it. So I found some fabric that has Australia printed on it. So that's in my Australia. Uh, and I have to say that's my favorite one. Mm -hmm. The one I've done the most is probably the hummingbird as well. I love the hummingbird design. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've done that a number of times now. Yeah, that's great. What are some types of scrappy applique projects you've made? I can see that you've got a wall hanging, but have you used scrappy applique in other ways? Yes, I have. I've made choke bag, I've made cushions, I've got some other mini quilts that I've done. Uh, I love to make mini quilts. Uh, that's one of the things that I love to do. And I've got a number of them now with scrappy applique. I actually did the Notion series. So uh, I have the featherweight the spool of thread and the scissors in a collection that I'm going to be gifting a friend soon uh, for a wall hanging in her sewing room. So I love doing mini quilts in that kind of uh, area as well. So you can hang them on the wall. Yeah, that's just perfect. I love the, that series as well, as you can tell. I've, I've actually got a sewing machine oh, yes. <laughs> in my sewing space as well. That's right. Okay. Another fun question. What in yes. your sewing room could you not live without? Oh, you're going to laugh at me, Katie, but I do have to share it with you. So in one of those sampler packs, I got these cute little pins. I'm going to show them to you. They're so, they're unicorns. They, they're super cute. They're unicorns. Mm -hmm. And the functionality of them is fantastic. I've never found a pin like it. So I have, as a quilter, I have many different pins that have come across my table. I get different samples from places. These 10 pins are like gold. I love them. <laughs> so is, is it that they're unicorns or is it the actual pin itself that you love? Combination of the two. Who doesn't love a unicorn? And also, you know, they're great pins. They're great quality pins. I, you know, as a, as a quilter, we all seem to accumulate so many different pins. Uh, but these ones are just fantastic. I, I really like them. That's fantastic. I'm so glad you have pins that you love in your studio. It sure is great. I have no it's just 10, but the quality. <laughs> So Shannon often talks about creative practices. Um, some of those, for example, are to try something new with each new project, to mm -hmm. um, not get focused too much on perfectionism and not make any mm -hmm. progress with quilts, um, to have a Sunday maybe list where you're keeping track of quilts that you'd like to make in the future so that you kind of have these idea bin ideas in your mind. Yeah. Um, she yeah. also has um, like an experiment bin where if something she doesn't really love, she just tosses it. Mm -hmm. um, all the creative practices that you've heard her talk about, what mm -hmm. are them that you resonate with? Trying something new with each project. Mm -hmm. um, I really try to bring things into, I love learning. Mm -hmm. I love to learn. I love to stitch and then I love to create. And with that, I think quilting is the perfect uh, crafting and medium for me. Because with that, I, I, I'm learning every day. Mm. There's so many techniques we can learn. There's so many quilt blocks we can learn. And I just love bringing that learning into every project that I do. I also love teaching others. And that is the joy that I get from Scrappy Applique. Not many people do applique. Not many people have seen Scrappy Applique before. So to combine those two together, they're learning so much in the class. It's fantastic to see. So as an individual who loves to quilt and also as a teacher, it's fantastic. I love it. That's wonderful. Well, Janelle, thank you so much for your time today. It has been wonderful getting to know you a little bit and to hear about your passion for quilting, um, for teaching Scrappy Applique. And we're just so excited to have you um, as one of our certified teachers. So thank you so much for your time today. If you would like to have Janelle come and teach at your quilt guild, um, you can find a button below where you can book an event with Janelle. She also offers classes um, for individuals and small groups. And so you can find her at dottieandgrace.com. And then you can sign up for an event with Janelle. Thank you so much, Katie. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. You're welcome. It's great to see you. Thanks, Janelle.